Bobo Show of the Week. We are here with our Bobo, Chloe Craig, and she's here to let us get to know her just a little bit better. Now, Chloe, where are you from? I'm from Maryville, Tennessee. How far away is that for people who don't know? It's about an hour and 15 minutes, depending on the traffic. Okay, okay. And uh, what's your major? I am pre-law with a double major in communications and political science. Now, why did you decide to pick those majors? Well, I knew I wanted to be like a lawyer or be a law professor, and but I wasn't completely positive. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to have something that I could change if I needed to, give me something with a lot of options. Mm -hmm. So communications would definitely give me options, and then political science, there's plenty of things I can do with that as well. Do you feel like that as your time of being a Bonner, you're able to learn kind of the things that you that are like interesting to you? Definitely. I okay. think, oh, especially with the site-based team, I'm mm -hmm. in the human rights team, and that gives me a lot of time just to talk with people that are interested in the same thing, so we can get a lot of stuff done yeah. with that. Yeah. Now, tell me exactly what interests you about human rights. Is there like any specific area that you're really interested in? Um, I don't know. I think it ties back to my major. I just really like laws, I guess, political science, and um, I feel like everyone's equal, so that's really important to me, just that basic, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah, I think that's great, and I think um, within like the Bonner program, you have so many different majors that are kind of similar, you have a lot of people in sociology and psychology, and I think it's just, right. it's interesting to have uh, people kind of like me and you who are like mm -hmm. into communications, and especially with you who are interested in law, Right. I think that's, that's great, and it's mm -hmm. a really good aspect to have in our program. Mm -hmm. Um, now, for the sillier questions, um, where, if you could, and there's no like money tangled up in it, where would you go? Well, um, I've been to 45 different states in the United States, and I've never been on a plane, but I think the very first thing that I would go to would be to finish the states that I haven't been to, mm -hmm. just so that I could say that I've been to all 50 of them. Right, right. Yeah. Where haven't you been? I haven't been to Washington, Oregon, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Hawaii. So how, did, how have you like come about to go to all of these states? Well, my grandparents are really, really into traveling, and they're both teachers, so they always have the summers off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I think when I started in kindergarten, we just started traveling everywhere over the summer, and we would just get, they had an RV, and we would just get in the RV and drive and stop where we wanted to stop. And yeah. we'd, we'd normally have like an end destination, mm -hmm. but along the way, if you know, if I saw something I wanted to stop, we would stop and we'd go and see it. So it was just kind of like a tradition, and. You know, I went this past summer with them again, so it was really fun. Have you had like a favorite state that you've been to? Maine, definitely. Why? Favorite state. Um, it's just, it still has like the mountains that we have mm -hmm. in Tennessee, mm -hmm. and it's just gorgeous, just the whole area. And I don't know, it's, I just really like it. Yeah, it's just see, really pretty. I've never been. What is the climate like? Um, in the summer, it's a lot like Tennessee, just a couple of degrees mm -hmm. colder. Mm -hmm. But it's really, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you could meet anyone in history of all time ever, who would you meet? Probably Abraham Lincoln or Martin Luther King. Why? Because they had a lot to do with human rights, and they're people who stood up for what they believed in, mm -hmm. and that's really important to me. Yeah, yeah. Do you have like one that you prefer over the other? Probably Martin Luther King, because I feel like he did a little bit more, and he also had the racism, which is something that's really important to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if anybody can see, because we're kind of close off. But Chloe here has the most beautiful makeup I've ever seen in my life. And she's, all, I mean, she's beautiful anyway, but it's just gorgeous. Now, do you want to talk about, like, what kinds of makeup that you like? Well, I wear Mary Kay because I sell Mary Kay. And I think that because I do, I have a lot of resources to have whatever makeup yeah, I want to use. Yeah. So I get to experiment with it and change it. And so, yeah. It's all Mary Kay. Do you have any like specific colors that you like to wear more than others? Um, I like to wear browns because I feel like it matches more things. Mm -hmm. And because my eyes are blue, green, the brown yeah, kind of pulls yeah. up. Well, she's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And thank Chloe, you. I want to thank you so much for being on our show. Oh, you're welcome. Again, Thanks this is you. Chloe Craig, and she's about to leave for spring break. I hope you're on your way too or you're at your destination. And we'll see you again soon. You wish for, you keep. Have faith in your dreams.